as I look out into the cold wilderness, I see him. I feel him. He is waiting on me. Hello and salutations and welcome to another episode of the other night. In the last episode, we took on several bonus levels, including Knuckler's Quarry and the Hall of Champions. It was good times and we made lots of money. We actually have, like, an exorbitant amount of money. We could actually go back and buy some more magic. But I'm not going to. I had to think about it there for a second. Uh, we'll be doing that between sessions, so next episode I'll probably have a good bit extra magic. For the time being, though, let's take on the Black Knight. Yes, indeed. With you by our side, Black Knight, whole dominion is within our grasp. I beg of you, take my words to heart. Your safety is my only concern. Boom, boom, and she gone. Just like that. Was that the Enchantress? Tell me what... You haven't... Wait, wait, you! Haven't you tired of this charade? Stay out of this. You never were one to blindly follow, Black Knight, but the Order and the Enchantress must be stopped. Fool, you're headed down a ruinous path. The only path I seek leads to the Tower of Fate, and I will reach it. Never steal thy shovel! I love that. And for whatever reason, steal thy shovel has by far been, like, my favorite. I guess if you want to call it a catchphrase, you can't... No, don't you be reflecting my fire! My fire! It's like my favorite thing about this game. Stop reflecting my fire. Ow. So yes, uh, Black Knight here has actually gotten a bit of an upgrade, as you can tell. Uh, I'm still instinctively shooting fire at him, even though I know it's not working. Obviously not working. Stop with the fire! John, stop it! <laughs> it's like my brain sees what's going on and is telling my hands to stop, but my hands won't stop. <laughs> my thumbs, they got minds of their own. I don't know. Stop with the fire! It is obviously not working in your favor. Ugh, there we go. You can do it. It just—it has to be very well timed. On the bright side, though, what are you doing? Oh uh, no! Stop. On the bright side, we're doing very, very well. He's easily going to die. No, no. Okay, and I'm out of magic. You know what, prep? Ha 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 ha! You see that? You see that, Black Knight? You jerk! <laughs> I reflected your reflection. Now what are you going to do? Look inside yourself. <laughs> okay. We beat the Black Knight and got more money for it. More importantly, we get to watch him run away like a punk that he is. And he blows up, which is actually a cream of satisfaction. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Stranded Knight, Lair of... Or, er, Stranded Knight. Stranded Ship, Lair of Polar Knight, which has, yet again, another one of my favorito mechanics in this entire game. But we'll get to that later on. Momentarily, just, just, just relax. BOMB! Not with the bombs. More bombs. So, this game, I've said it before, it's a really good game. Really, really fun, really enjoyable game. Re really. Really and truthfully, it is. Also, look at the adorable little woofies. I really love these enemies. They're just adorable. They're dumb as can be, but they're adorable. Alright, anyway. This game is really good. I've said it before. I'll say it again. This game is really good. And if you need proof of how good this game actually is, I want you to look at this level. Because this level is really good. But you see, do you know, do you know why that is so amazing that this, this level is really good? I'm going to start making sense at some point, I promise you. Ice physics. This level has ice physics, and they're not incredibly annoying. That, for the longest time, has been considered impossible. Don't even lie, you know, you know that was the legend to be, and you know it to be true! Name one other game that has done ice physics and done them well. N nothing, nothing, you got nothing? And of course you got nothing because no other game's done it! Like seriously, I cannot think of one good example of ice physics off the top of my head. Except for so, this, this level. It's, I mean it's not, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily call it just like, I mean, I did just call it good, so I can't say I wouldn't necessarily call it good. I wouldn't necessarily call it like the greatest mechanic ever or anything like that. But just the fact that they made ice mechanics even slightly more bearable, bearable, uh, this, is, this is the fact that they made ice mechanics slightly more bearable is amazing. And is a, is, is a feat that goes to show how good this game actually is. Basically, I really like this game. I don't know if I don't know if you've quite picked up on that yet, but um, I, I really like this game. 
It's it's been a I am hitting him with a friggin' fishing pole. That's not that's not effect Actually that was super effective. You know what? Sure, why not? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I really had mm hmm I will say using the joystick has helped considerably uh, in terms of using items accidentally. It's not something that happens quite as often now. Still happens though, if I'm gonna be truthful with you. See, I avoided the perfectly honest, even though I pointed out that so it's not really like I avoided it. If I'm gonna be truthful, it's still... Eh, but I don't know. It's, it's better than the D-pad, at the very least. I'll, I'll say that much for sure. Bombs! Bombs everywhere! Nobody likes the bombs. Why are they everywhere? The bomb sounds like a baseball team, like a major MLB team or something like that. The Pittsburgh Bombs. I don't know what the Pittsburgh MLB team is! Oh, this game, this friggin' level, this, this room gives me a heart attack every time I see it. Uh, one of the gimmicks of this level is that they have these little snow clouds, or whatever, these things. And you touch them, they fall... I need to bounce on your head, mister. Uh, when you touch them, they fall on the spikes and basically render the spikes worthless. Which isn't, like, a bad thing at all. However, it drops you in like that on purpose because it's, this game was made by a bunch of jerks. Very talented jerks. Jerks nonetheless. No, with the ice. Uh, very talented jerks, but jerks nonetheless. So it gives you a heart attack. It's not... Not cool, bro. I, I have years of therapy to look forward to because of this... Okay, I wasn't sure if that snowflake was going to hit me or not. I was I was wincing up. You couldn't see it because I don't have the face cam on. But I was wincing. You'll have to take my word for it. How do you guys like the face cam so far? Are you digging that? I know only, like, by this point, like, two or three episodes of the, uh, series or whatever you want to call it has come out. But, like, do you guys enjoy it? Let me know. I would like to know where the people are. I wanna... I don't remember the rest of that song. I am lacking in my knowledge of Disney musicals. And I apologize. Profusely bomb! <laughs> I'm required... Okay, here we go. So, this is neat. This is really neat. We have this thing here, and it's weighed. As you see, it'll sink whenever you're on it. You jump and it raises. And also, you hit it with your shovel and it pukes out rainbows. That... That's awesome. Like, it's just... Awesome. Just plain, unadulterated, pure and utter awesome. In physical form. In rainbow form, actually. Although it also gives you a little bit of heart attack because you're never actually sure it's not going to just fall out from beneath you and make you die a horrible, painful death via pit. But it is really neat, and I love the mechanic. Uh, okay, shoot. I got a little worried there for a second, not even gonna lie. I thought I may have screwed up. <laughs> I thought, I thought, oh god, that's bomb. Okay, there was no way I was dodging that. There's nothing I could do. I'm sorry. Truly, truly. I am. Alright, so all you gotta do here is very strategically place this thing over here so that we can get it to the other side with this epic rainbow I really do love this thing. It's just like, it's pretty to look at. The sprite is beautiful. The rainbow sprite is just gorgeous. And everything about it just screams metal to me. <laughs> this whole level screams like epic. No, not with the death. This whole level screams like epic Dio style heavy metal to me. Rainbow in the death. Jeez, these Vikings are scaring me. Rainbow in the dark. I love Dio. Dio was the most metal human being to ever live, I believe. Or at least on up there. He sung songs about rainbows and made them awesome. That's not something you can do. Like, it's just not. That's not something you can you can recreate. Nobody else alive today can sing a song about a rainbow and make you think, man, that was metal as crap. Like, that's just not something that happens anymore. Poor Dio. It's sad to think that, that we will not get his... Just, okay, Dragon Man... You need to die so that I can go fishing. I have things to do and fish to fra- Oh, crap. My life was actually really low. I didn't even notice that. And we're back to Dragon Man. Is he a dragon? Trogdor. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, don't you respawn on me when I already kill you? Jeez, jerk. All right. 
So now what I was trying to do before I was so rudely interrupted by dragon to the face is fish. Watch it, it's just gonna be another friggin' apple in the truple. Is it? Is it? It is! I can't use you because I have... Ooh, actually. Why don't we just go ahead and use this? There's no point in not doing it. There we go. Give me that there stuff. Okay. There's no point in not using it because that's not a super useful... That's just not super useful to be perfectly honest with you. Yes, it is. Okay. That's slightly more useful. The health one is by far the most useful one. Uh, the magic being the second most useful. And... Yeah, I almost died there. See, now that... That wouldn't have been good. I would not have enjoyed that. And honestly, yeah, bomb! Honestly, you guys probably wouldn't enjoy it too much either. All right, we're making pretty deep pro uh, deep progress. Is that is that correct English? I'm not 100% sure actually. I don't know if that is correct English or not. We're making pretty quick progress. Is the the illusion I was trying to paint there? Uh, throughout this level, and we have our our lovely I believe optional uh, item. These spikes, man, they give me heart attack each time. We have our uh, optional item here. I believe it's optional. I don't think it's necessary. It's a horn. It's a horn and go boom. That's about it. I will say, uh, horn, definitely useful item, as you will see momentarily. Uh, but it does use up a unbelievable amount of magic. Uh, by which I mean 20. I had to actually do it again so I can find out here. Although it does make parts like this a whole lot easier. See now, the, this item, the horn, would have come in handy a lot during the previous parts of the game. Uh, which is another thing, this game is... Bye-bye, Mr. Wolf. You didn't... Oh god, I almost died. You didn't think that in through, did you, Mr. Wolfman? And, you know, it's just... It wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't. Alright, there's our golden fish. I was waiting on that golden fish. I need to go to the old lady in the inn and actually check my stats here soon. I'm actually kind of curious now. I haven't gone since I showed it off in the first episode. Okay, now this part right here, I'm pretty sure there's like supposed to be a secret or something up here. It looks like it, right? But I have, for the life of me, I cannot get up there. I can't line Mr. Rainbow Fountain Dio. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna call this thing Dio from now on. This is, his honorary name is Dio. Just is. Don't question it. I'm pretty sure there's something up there. At least it, it feels like there's something up there. But I, I've yet to been able to line that thing up to uh, actually get up there to find out for sure. If you have gotten up there and there is a secret like music sheet or something, let me know and I'll actually come back here and get that like during the next session. Uh, so let, let me know, please. Please let me know because I want to know. Yeah, the horn, ow, the horn comes in handy for, no, get off the ladder, shovel knight. The horn comes in handy for situations like that, although I still end up taking a good bit of damage there, but whatever. You know what? It works. Really? Really? Really, dude? Oh, jeez. On the bright side, I don't even have to cut that out because I'm respawning right here. Still, it's just jerky. That's just total beef jerky, man. Just total beef jerky. Actually, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that bottom uh, bag back, but oh well. Oh well. It's not like we can't spare any money or anything, so... See, at, at this point in the game, since we do have so much money, and also, just you know what? Screw those over there. I'm, I'm not even worried about it. Since we do have so much money at this point in the game, dying has not nearly as much consequence as it probably should have. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I, I will say that. The way this game does death, the fact that there aren't lives, but it takes away your money, it's refreshing in a weird way. Uh, mostly just because it, it gives you the difficulty curve you want, because you need money in order to upgrade stuff and you want money, but at the same time, you're not just like, you know, getting game overs constantly and, and not having fun after a certain, ow, after a certain point. You know what, Mr. Ice Wizard, how about you just eat fire and die? I would appreciate that if you did that for me. Okay, now this music sheet. I actually don't think I got this music sheet <clears throat> in my practice file because it's kind of cheap. This is the only part in the game I've found so far that I actually didn't really like, because if you even, like, nudge these spikes down there, you're dead. And I don't like that. The secret really is just not hitting the ice with any sort of momentum. Yeah, I got it. Uh, because if you hit it with momentum, then that happens and you slide. But if it's a, like, straight up and down jump, you actually won't slide. Wow, I did that way better than I have ever done before, and it makes me so joyful. Sorry. 
Sometimes I, th I think I should have been like a really stereotypical southern preacher. Okay, yeah. Okay, these these spikes here actually are the ones I thought. Bomb, bomb, bomb! I thought are particularly cheap. You can slide into those spikes and it will kill you instantly. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. It's I think the only part I've come across in this game so far that I found to be just a little douchey, just the tiniest bit douche. Oh, oh, okay. There's actually a, a music sheet coming up that's kind of difficult to get what with all the insta death surrounding us and everything <sighs> oh wait actually 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 i believe yes okay i thought so the horn actually knocks these ice uh ow, ice clouds down which makes things a little easier see the thing is we can't actually kill that dragon uh because we need him for things oops well you know <laughs> well uh, that's not good. Is there another one in the next screen? I want to say there might be. I am out of magic. That's a bad. That's a real bad. Ooh. Sorry. Nose itch. Mm. Sorry. Uh, okay, wait for him to fire, then jump. Okay, yes, there is. Come on. There you go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, don't hit me on the spike. Don't hit me on the bike, man. Don't hit me on the bike. I don't want to get hit on the bike. Oh, this is bad. I just want to jump up to the music sheet, dude. Just help me jump. Just help me jump to the music sheet. That's all I jump to the jump. Jump to the rhythm. It is harder. Mm. Okay, this is not going well because he's not like positioned for this jump. It's possible though. I know it is. There we go. Okay. See now we can kill everybody. Boom. I probably should have saved that for this guy over here. You know what? I don't even care. Okay, I do care. I I care immensely. There we go. Jump. And jump. And jump. I kind of want to get rid of this dude. I really kind of want to get rid of this dude. There we go. I think we're pretty much safe from here on. We just have to dodge the snowflakes. Which is slightly more menacing than it sounds. Ooh, almost forgot this is up here. Yay, we got our life back. That makes me happy. We are. I think we're actually at the end, aren't we? We totally are. Holy crap. That went by really quick. <clears throat> so, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? The order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? No more words. The bitter cold will claim you. We have little to no magic, although we do have an eye core, which makes me happy. Make me happy, happy, go, go, happy. Oosh. There we go. I have yet to figure out an efficient way to dodge those uh snowballs there. So I'm just trying to destroy as many of them as possible before he does that. Mm. With our health potion, assuming we don't get instant death, we shouldn't have just a whole lot of trouble with uh actually this would be a good time to take the magic guy core. Drink the E-Core! And then try not to die. Oh god. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. You actually helped me out some there. And I, uh, I greatly appreciate it, actually. Oh, wait, that was the in... Oh! That's the one that makes you invincible. Oh, crap, I didn't need that. And I also didn't need that. Well, you know what? I guess we'll just have to deal with it. On the bright side, we're not doing too bad. Okay, I, I would appreciate some, uh, some snow so that I can walk. That That'd be awesome. Thank you. I mean, I'll, I'll deal with that. That's not too bad. No, don't. Okay. Shoo. I thought I landed on the spikes. I mean, I, I actually did land on the spikes. I just got really, really lucky that he only had one hit left. We defeated him. The Snow Plow Man. Snow King. Plow King. Yes, the name, Mr. Plow. <laughs> oh, jeez. That went way better than I expected. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. I expected to have way more trouble with that. On the bright side, we are plowing, no pun intended, through this game. Actually, who am I kidding? Pun entirely intended. We are going through this game quite quickly, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. And I'm, well, actually, I'm a little sad about it because I expected it to eat last a little bit longer. Then, then again, I did pick the game halfway because it was so short. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, today's daily question, Splatoon! It has done fantastically in the market. What is your opinion of the game? I do or do not share that opinion.
Yeah, I'm kind of setting myself up for that one, aren't I? Uh, let me know what you think about Splatoon. I don't have it, but I know a lot of people who do have it, and they really, really love it. And I really, really want to get it. I, it's definitely on my list of must-buys as soon as I get a Wii U at some point in time. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, leave your, uh, your answer in the comments, and we'll talk about it. And tell me, make me feel bad that I don't have the game, as I expect most of you will. Uh, as always, like if you like, leave a comment telling me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more. Please share with your friends. And I will see you guys next time in Let's Play Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs>